Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I've tried to film this video a couple of times, so hopefully this time it works. Um, let's see. I'm back with the best of 2023. I have some uh, categories that I wasn't able to fit into other videos because they were running really long and it would have made a really long video. So uh, we'll go over what I have on and then get into the products. I have the Glow Oil by Supergoop and SPF 50. The e.l.f. Um, let's see, liquid filter in Fair One. And what I did was I went ahead and used the Bare Minerals Original. I have mine in Fair Ivory 02. And uh, these two work really well together. I was a little bit concerned about putting them together, uh, but they worked really well. And I do really like Bare Minerals. Um, I have, well, now I have more normal, sometimes oily skin. Back in the day, I had oily, oily skin that was breakout prone and had adult acne. And this kind of foundation really helps when you have that sort of a problem. So if you're looking for something to try, if you haven't tried it already, I would recommend it. And then as far as what I have on the rest of my face, ColourPop uh, Sunset Strip is what I used as a cream base for my blush, and I'm really liking using this color as a base. Um, it has a lot of pigment, but it works really well um, to go ahead and add pow powders over it. And I have the ColourPop Let's Dance on, and so uh, these two work really well together, and I'm really liking them together. And then as far as what I have on my eyes, well, um, brows, I have the Thick, it, thick and Wow Thick and Wow by Essence, a caramel blonde. And I also have the Essence uh, Volume Stylist 18-hour uh, wear. So that's what I have on there. I do have the Bard on. And this is by Fantasy Cosmetica. And packaging is absolutely gorgeous. It's... It matches what the palette is on the inside. And so I went ahead and put this in my crease. Um, I did this on the inner part of the lid. I did this on the inner corner and up, well, on a lot of the real estate in the um, inner part of the eye there. Uh, this is what I did on the outer, on the brow. Uh, this pretty burgundy and I put some of this on top of it. And yeah, I think that's everything I have on there. Really loving this uh, palette, a lot of pigment and really pretty color choices here. So yeah, definitely would recommend this one. And um, let's see, what else do I have on? I think that's just about everything that I have on right now. Oh, lips, um, the Dopey, this is the, here we go loosen the cap here. This is one of the lip liners from ColourPop, so I have this on as well. And so um, as far as what I or to go get going on foundations, um, adding to the powder foundations, I did a whole video on the 16 hour cover and last powder foundation by Essence. And I threw every cream and every liquid I could think uh, of uh, onto the, the top of this foundation to see if I could break it up and make it not work, and I couldn't. So if you're looking for a drugstore powder foundation, this is definitely one that I would recommend. As far as what I did for um, tints, and tints have gotten really popular. Um, I have one, two, three, four, five here. So um, let's see, the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator, I have mine in light really pretty formula has hyaluronic acid and squalene in it and so really nice um, one that they came out with tower 28 the sunny days I have mine in Melrose and so I've been using that uh, when my face feels all chapped and um, hurting and everything I'll use the Milani glow I have mine in 110 this has 29% squalane so if your face feels tight and dry this is a really good one um, good for makeup no makeup days where you just want to have a little bit something on to make your face feel better because it feels really dry yeah 
and uh, the pretty fresh found or pretty fresh uh, tinted um, air tint and I've worn this for years and years and really liked it. This is 8N. I usually mix it with like 4N um, because it's a little bit dark for me. And then a uh, brand new one to the group, uh, this really blah, 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 Beauty Bay. <laughs> and this is their glow filter. And if I could talk today, I'd probably have an easier time doing the videos, but talking doesn't seem to be what I'm doing today. So uh, this one has just about, this is the glowiest foundation and tint that I think I've ever seen. And so if you want to go really glowy, ordered this off of the Beauty Bay website. Okay, so let's move into foundations. And I do have a couple of foundations that I really love. Um, I do have, let's see, the Super Serum from We Love Revolution. This uh, just now came to Walmart in the U.S. and um, it's uh, the whole line is five dollars and under and actually some of the products are really really good the super serum I really like the foundation or the finish of this foundation and um, I've heard other uh, youtubers say they really like the finish as well so it's a good one and then the pretty fresh by ColourPop and um, yeah really good foundation. Um, it actually has a good amount of coverage to it as well. An oldie but a goodie that they reformulated this year and I'm just really really liking this formula. The L'Oreal True Match works really well and it's definitely you can find it at just about every drugstore everywhere. Um, let's see high-end foundations. I only have one which is probably a good thing because it means that I found what I liked and I wasn't out shopping the whole year for foundation, house labs. Um, I have mine in Fair Cool 50 and um, I am just about done with this foundation. I'm down to here and I don't typically use them up really quickly. So yeah, um, really have been loving this. It has a lot of glow and enough pigment. It sticks around. If I put a primer underneath it, I can get a good 12 hours out of it. So yeah, liking it. And Okay, powders. So um, a lot of good powders out there right now. Good finishing powders out there right now. Um, some of my favorites from this year are definitely going to be the Glowish. Um, I have the shade Fair and Fair Light, and as far as finishing powders, they work really well. Um, do love a lot of the glowy powders. Uh, I've had this Beauty Pie, the Triple Beauty Perfect Glowy Powder. Again, very, very glowy. Very pretty as well. And then a uh, powder that I love, I know a lot of people don't necessarily like this one, but um, it's a Catrice and it's a Sungasm, uh, probably only available on Amazon if you can even find it there. So if anybody knows of a pink powder that has some glow to it, this one's really, really shiny. But if you know of one that has some glow to it, let me know. Does it look different? Yeah, it kind of looks a little different. Um, a powder that, I don't have the right color in this. The Physician's Formula Better Glow. Um, I have the natural one. The translucent is the one that's going to go ahead and be a dupe for some high-end powders. And I don't have it. Um, I have the natural one. The natural one, actually, I can wear as a blush. I also wear it uh, with, I do a really cool, cool look. Yeah. <laughs> so like if I use the True Match, this is the Cool 2.5, which has a lot of pink in it. Then I can use this as a finishing powder and it'll have a, a it'll just give me a little bit more pink in the finishing powder. And I don't mind that at all. I don't think it stands out or makes the look go, Ooh. So, um, it's a good one. Um, 
and then of course the hourglass uh, this one is a universal um, palette it's from two years ago yeah I'm pretty sure it was two years ago and if they say that you can never go ahead and pan an hourglass powder yeah you see all those little squiggles in there I panned it no I'm not throwing it out yes I'm gonna finish up all this powder yes it is definitely worth the money when I got this palette yeah I was just like uh hopefully it will last forever and it really does and so the hourglass powders the ambient ones are really popular right now as finishing powders and they're really good um, the Physician's Formula, the one in Translucent, I definitely think is a dupe for this Universal uh, Finishing Powder from uh, Hourglass. This one isn't as popular as the Ambient Powders are, um, but all of the Finishing Powders from Hourglass are pretty amazing. And um, my suggestion would be definitely to get some of their uh, combo palettes and try out a couple of the different finishing powders to figure out which ones you really like. Um, they, yeah, it's hard to go wrong with those, but uh, yeah. Um, and again, um, there's some really good drugstore powders out there, and there's some really good high end powders out there. Those as well is the antioxidant facial serum. This one has resveratrol. It also has little beads in it that have vitamin C. So for a good part of the year, this was during the day and this was at night sort of thing going on. Um, I did go ahead and add in some products at the end of the year. Um, I picked up this Misha Time Revolution and um, this is the Pro-B Ampule Night Repair. And uh, this one you can get over at Amazon. The Trader Joe's, I think you can probably order them because I know a lot of places don't have Trader Joe's, even though they are expanding everywhere. And they're a really good company. But um, yeah, uh, I think you can order these off the website. Um, I think you can. I'm not quite sure about that, but I'm pretty sure you can do that. Uh, let's see. What else did I do? Oh, uh, Beauty Bay. I actually ordered during Black Friday a whole bunch of moisturizing products, and I was really nervous, scared, and then not happy about my order because I thought, you know, I'm been oily oily most of my life now that I'm older I'm normal oily combo and a lot of the times if I get something moisturizing it's just gonna um, cause me to break out all over everywhere because my face my skin won't be able to handle it but these ones that I got I am actually really liking uh, the and I got them as a set so um, with Beauty Bay, it is based in the UK. Um, it does have to come across the ocean, so it's going to take a little bit of time to get to you. You know, usually plan for about two weeks, maybe a little bit more. And then I got their cam chamomile and um, oat lipid um, cleansing balm. Definitely smells like lavender. Really nice cleansing balm that I've been really enjoying. Um, they're 5% squalane hyaluronic acid polyglutamic acid and this is an overnight balm and it is a balm so um, it will very definitely I would go ahead and use the moisturizer underneath it and then put the balm on top this is the moisture complex and this is moisture complex and algae face mask and this one has the consistency of um, a gel. So it's really, yeah, as it's, it's going ding, 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 yeah, jiggling back and forth there. Yeah, it has the consistency of a gel there. Um, and the last product that was included in that set that I got is the 5% squalane and, and uh, grapeseed oil. And this is an oil serum hybrid. 
so this is another really good one and so I've been playing around with these they haven't caused me to break out and I really um, am crossing my fingers that that'll be the case moving forward because this particular brand I got the whole set it wasn't hugely expensive and um, it's working really well at night. I really feel like I'm getting some moisture in there. So yeah, really liking that one as well. And a um, couple of other products. I have some hair care products that just came out this year. Don't cost a fortune and I'm really liking them. So this is by Garnier or Garnier. Um, yeah, the Pure Moisture. And so uh, conditioner and shampoo, the Pure Moisture has the hyaluronic acid in it. And so it has, even says so on the bottle, 72 hour moisture for dry hair and scalp. And so I'm liking a lot. I'm in a dry climate. I don't have any humidity where I'm at. So I need moisture, moisture, moisture at this time of my life. When I was younger, I didn't, but I do now. So um, really enjoying these. I'm actually using another conditioner over the top because in a dry climate with hyaluronic acid, it can just start, especially with the skin products, just pulling the moisture out of your skin because there is no humidity to pull in. So it starts grabbing everything from your skin. So they tell you with hyaluronic acid to go ahead and put a moisturizer or some sort of occlusive over it, um, like this kind of a moisturizer over the top of the hyaluronic acid so that it locks it in. And that's what I've been doing with these as far as hair products. I'll use both of these and then I'll use another conditioner on um, as a third step um, and then rinse that other conditioner out, out but it will go ahead and lock these in and these won't be trying to uh, get moisture from the air or get moisture from my hair and then you know so everything's locked in stays where it should be so yeah that's maybe something that only applies to people who live in a really dry climate, but it really does happen here. So, um, yeah, those are the products that I've really been enjoying and um, think that I'm really getting benefits from. Um, like I said, I'm having to switch being oily and breakout prone most of my adult life. I've now turned a corner and old am older and now I'm at the point where I need to put moisture back in and so that's what I've been working on doing but working on doing it with formulas that don't make my face go and break out all over everywhere so um let's see were there any other products that I needed to go over um I'm not sure if the setting sprays got mentioned, so I'm going to go ahead and mention them here just because, you know, there's always one more thing. So um, I've been using the fourth ray Glisten Up forever. It's um, fourth ray is a sister company to ColourPop. You can get it on the same website. Unfortunately, this one is really popular. It does sell out. And so, you know, there'll be times that I go to the website and I just they don't have it available. Um, but it has mica in it, and it's a very glowy setting spray. A couple of other ones that I've been using this year. Trixie, the ninth inning. Um, again, well, you have to shake it up, and it has mica in it, in it. Really pretty. Really good formula, and I really like the formula on that one. Uh, this one by Hard Candy, the Sheer MV Glow Setting Spray, 12-hour. Um, another product. This one is actually pretty new to me, um, but I've been really liking it as well. And um, that that's all the products. I think we got the whole thing done. And yeah, we're going to stop there because that was a lot to do in one video. So...
<laughs> I hope that you're having a great day. I hope you have great holidays. I hope 2024 goes amazingly well for you. And I will see you later. Bye.
Otters.